Oh, God. Uh... I have like this Razer computer chair. The handles on this, the armrest, it's like cushion, but it's like made of plastic. So it's like not comfortable. And my elbows literally are like in pain constantly. So I got these off of Amazon, these little basically like memory foam armrest cushion things. But because of the material, ever since I got these, every time I get up from my desk and I touch anything metal around me, I get shocked. So when I went to go press record on my camera, they fucking shocked me. Anyway, I'm not really doing anything today, but I do want to just hang out at Isaac's flower shop again, just to do some work. Cause I feel like if I'm just stuck at home, I'm just going to play Steam deck all day and I could have just been like I'm gonna be doing nothing all day but I'm like I'm a gamer girl I'm a gamer girl play video games all day and not get any work done so but I've been kind of feeling not kind of I've been really like literally I've told you guys before when I like a song I literally listen to only that song on repeat and right now it is XG single album shooting star slash left right so I'm kind of feeling blue today and you know the whole Y2K thing has been like gripping Korea by the throat. I just think it's so funny that people that were literally born in the era of Y2K are like getting dressed up in Y2K even though in reality they were probably just wearing baby clothes at the time. <laughs> Unless you were there to witness Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, and Lindsay Lohan sitting in a car getting their photos taken by the paparazzi you don't know Y2K. I'm just kidding. I don't really have any Y2K fashion though so the most Y2K you're gonna get from me is wearing a short sleeve shirt over a long sleeve shirt. I already did my skincare, so I'm just gonna go into base. This House Labs foundation, the one that went viral, I've said this before, but I was filming a foundation review of this and I just got lazy. <laughs> but my final thoughts, Sengopoda is actually really f***ing amazing. It has really fantastic coverage. The finish is very, people say natural because like there's like a glow to it, but if we think about it, natural, like real natural skin is technically either dry and matte looking or greasy. So, but anyway, in the makeup sense, yeah, it has a natural finish. But what I was most surprised by it is that even if my skin did get a little bit, a little bit of shine came through after wearing it for many hours, the foundation didn't break down. I just had to blot away the oil, but the foundation pretty much looked the same. So I was like, okay, Lady Gaga. I even got uh, Eddie onto this. You can't really buy this in Korea yet, um, but I let Eddie's son try it and he was like, Obsessed. So he went on. There's, like the official store doesn't ship to Korea, but there's sellers on Naver, which is like the Korean Google. So he ended up buying it from overseas, paying a premium for it. But you know, turns out that this foundation was made in Korea. So not surprised. But it's so good. I try to set up my camera farther away from me today. I get so frustrated editing my own damn videos because I literally will be like this mirror right in my fucking face or the camera will focus like right up onto the mirror and not my actual face. Oof. Wait, why did I bring up XG earlier? Oh, the eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is blue, so um... Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I went on a date for the first time in a while, like last week. And I think because I haven't been going on dates like at all, I like overthought everything. And he was cute and I think he was into me. Kunde, he didn't really talk much. <laughs> and I have a feeling it's because he was tired because at some point he started yawning. He kind of lives a little bit outside of Seoul and he was working out. So usually if you work out, you know that you kind of get tired faster throughout the day. Overall, good vibes or whatever, but not much talking. But I mean, he's tall, he works out, he's good looking and he's smart. And he actually lived in the States at some point as well. So I haven't been in a relationship since. If y'all remember my video from a long time ago, like dating a idol trainee, that was literally like my last actual relationship. Sort of God, I, I think that shit kind of traumatized me. So whenever, you know, I like, match someone on Tinder or something and the first thing they tell me is, oh my God, love your videos. <laughs> like immediately triggered and like I go into hiding or if they start asking me like, what do I do? Then I'm just like, <gasps> I don't know though. I don't know if it's a result of me overthinking again, but just now over text is just like, I'm not feeling much or it doesn't seem like he's feeling much. So that's a bust, but it's whatever. That's why I have fucking video games <laughs> to comfort me. <laughs> Uh. 
I have been really feeling myself in lighter eyebrows, so I'm going to... Actually, I lied to you. I literally lied to you. Fill in my eyebrows first. And then I've been really feeling lighter eyebrows, just using like a brown eyebrow mascara to lighten the overall color, like specifically this darker area where most people's eyebrows are darker. Because while my brows aren't particularly heavy or anything, my brows are pretty sparse. When you look at my face, it moves the attention more so down here rather than more up here, because my eyes are already pretty quite like standout feature of my face, if that makes sense. Just using this kind of like pink brown mascara. I have this at home eyebrow perming kit that I often use. It makes it easier to like fix them in the direction that I want after I color them. Cause sometimes these eyebrow mascaras, like these, this brand specifically, this really popular one, the Kiss Me Heavy Rotation one, super popular, but there's no hold to it really. It just colors your brows, but it almost, it's just like softer on this side compared to this side. I kind of use the brush to lightly feather over the brows without touching my skin because there's so much product that gets on here. If you go a little bit too hard, it gets on the skin and it looks really messy. So I literally just try to get only the hairs. I also go back the opposite way so that it gets under the hair as well. Okay, uh, real quick, maybe put some eye primer on my lids. I'm really trying to use this shit up, but it just does not want to run out. It's the Huda Beauty. Oh, I love that. Easy Bake Powder. A lot of people that complain about this being overly fragrant because it is, <laughs> but I fucking love it. It smells so delicious to me. I got these triangle puffs off of Amazon. This shit is so nice. It makes it so easy to get under here and they're big enough to just kind of like go all over and make powdering really fast. Kaleidos sent me, I love Kaleidos, shout out to Kaleidos, fucking one of my top favorite makeup brands. They have this these new contouring palettes, the Kaleidos Symphony Contour Trios. This is what they look like. Packaging is fucking luxurious. They're so heavy, so you, they, it feels like really like substantial. They come in five colorways. Uh, there's light, which is what I use usually. There is medium, which is, if I'm feeling a little frisky, I'll dip into this. And then they sent me tan. But uh, after this one, they do have two more colorways. So they all have two contour shades and one kind of like matte highlighter shade that you can use to add volume to your face. They actually sell those separately as well and they come in kind of a similar sort of packaging, but it's literally just the same exact highlighter that's in the trio palette. That was light, this is medium, this is tan, so. I like these so much, I ended up throwing away all my other contour stuff. K-Beauty contour products are good in the sense that they make great colors and they make them quite not very pigmented. So it's easy, it's great to use for beginners, but it can be a little bit, I mean, I, I go heavy handed a lot sometimes, but I like having that versatility of being able to either, if I want to go light handed, I can, or if I want a more intense contour, I can do that. And I feel like you can do that with this particular contour product because the pigment is so good and it gives you that versatility. It's not in so insanely pigmented that like, like one touch and it's like super dark. It's like a good balance. And the colors are actual proper contour colors. And the matte highlighter shade is really good for, like I said, adding volume to your face in a more natural way. I do like shimmery highlighters, but these matte ones are really good for kind of bringing out areas like maybe here where you have like shadowy areas. Adding like shimmer here is not gonna really fix that. That's why some people will use like a light liquid concealer here. Also great for the side of the nose to emphasize here to really push in the nose. In here between the brows, just kind of any shadowy areas. Okay. Finally! So the star of today's show is gonna be this eyeshadow palette that I asked Eddie to get me again on fucking Taobao. It's this brand called Venus Marble and I saw this on Doyen and I was like, bitch, this is the one! Look at that! So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use this uh, kind of gray shade all over. Oof. And this really cool tone, kind of like brownie stone gray shade. I'm thinking that the first color I used is kind of pointless because what I want to do is do a more intense cut crease. For intense cut crease. I'm going to try. I thought about doing this and I'm going to see if it works. But I have this little finger sponge. I'm going to dip into a 
thing with a tip into a concealer. I said, a thing. And then I see if I can cut. Yeah, I like completely covered the first color. What the fuck was I thinking? And I'm gonna use that really pretty blue, this little pale blue. Oh, bitch, you better fucking work. I am obsessed. <laughs> I'm gonna use those two colors there to reinforce this part. Hmm, I shouldn't have put the blue all the way in here because I kind of want to use this white in the inner corner. I'm sorry, I'm going to be super annoying and do the same exact shit that I always do, but this silver, like, I really want to put it here. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't help it. It looks so good. I'm literally going to fucking cry. Like, is this a fucking joke? <laughs> if there was one color in here to represent shooting star, is shooting star or is shooting stars? Anyway, it would be this color. Like, that is the one! Ah, it's coming off more blue-black than actual black. I'm not going to really use this on the bottom, though, because I feel like it'd be too dark. So I'm going to use this instead to line the bottom while I use the black or the blue-black for the top. Because it's such a dark shadow, I really don't want to fuck this up. So I'm going to use this my like skinniest little sickle brush from AliExpress to do um, my little was it between between line. Boy, no. Oh, bitch, y'all! I'm fucking living. Like I, <laughs> I really. <laughs> this is too good. Using that stone brown shade again to blend the top line a little bit, and maybe just a little bit of this on here. Just so it's not too, like, so it's not just the line. Oh, God. Yes. I want to do my egg side, but I think the eyeshadow in there would be too dark. So I'm going to use the contour that I used earlier. I think I made the bottom line here a little bit too downwards. I think it should have gone up more, but it's whatever. It's okay. <gasps> Girl, if you did this look and you put some lashes on this, oh my god. But for me, I'm just gonna use mascara on the lower lid and upper just to get rid of any powderiness if the blue got on the eyes. Oh, bit. This is really cool tone. Like in general, I'm wearing a lot of blue today as well. So I feel like there needs to be a little bit of warmth. So I wanna use some peachy blush and lip color today. I'm using these two colors from 3CE. This one's definitely more of a brighter peach than this one. I might use this just to blend it out, but 3CE actually had a kind of like Y2K kind of collection. And this was one of the blushes. So I guess it's appropriate. It was the future kind collection, whatever that is supposed to mean. First use the brighter color. And then use the lighter color to kind of blend it out. I fucking forgot to contour my face. <laughs> Kaleidos also has this kind of stippling brush for contouring the face. At first I was like weirded out, but I was like, who the fuck makes a contour brush looking like that? But a lot of doing girlies actually use stippling brushes to apply blush and contour stuff. So I remember back, oh my God, if you're around during like the beginning of the beauty uh, community on YouTube, everyone would apply their foundation with these stippling brushes. Actually, I think I need to put a little bit of this blush here. Remember the video I made about Stacy's previous makeup artist making her own makeup brand and she had like that apple bomb, like the kind of glossy lip thing? She came out with an orange version, Homeshi Bomb, Persimmel, that's what that is. And it's basically the same exact thing, but just a little bit more like, kind of like a orangey color, I don't know. This color. Lately, what I do is I like go all the way under here, specifically on this side, because this side, like when I was younger, I fell on my face and busted my lip and it made this whole side more swollen, I guess. And then a little bit on the Cupid's bow. Like that. This is really weird, but just some on the inner part of the lip. So more of the colors concentrate on the bottom lip. And this is more of like a hazy kind of look. Uh! 
watching XG Shooting Star music video, it reminded me of back in the 90s when my mom would be cleaning the house and to keep her hair out of face, she would use these bandanas. I feel like I look kind of weird though. I look like a pirate or a biker. <laughs> the typical way that I've seen my mom do was just that she would just fold it into a triangle and then the center part of the fold, shoot, not me giving y'all a tutorial on a headband. <laughs> literally just tie it but I look kind of silly I look like a, I look like I'm gonna make like bread <laughs> I don't know what you're... the other way I've seen is just after folding it into a triangle you just keep folding it like fan style till you get this just like a strip so it's more of like a just a headband but now I just look like I'm a cast member of Power Rangers or something back when they had that season of Power Rangers where they were ninjas <laughs> you want these or no <laughs> is this Y2K <laughs> Whatever, I'm just gonna sign off from this video looking like a character from a 90s karate movie where the main character is some hot white man that looks like he could also be in a porn and he learns karate from like a old Japanese man that has a really long beard where he's like, sensei. <laughs> If they were trying to make a Street Fighter movie and they didn't have any budget, so they were like, let's just hire this dude. Like, I'm giving that. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.